Dude faces, it's the morning of Monday, the day, <laughs> and uh, I've just been jamming. Uh, my, I'm not going to edit this, I can't be asked. The, um, my silverback, the wonderful creation of goodness, is in Guildford, so I'm playing through prototype number two at the moment, which is a beautiful amp. It's, it's sort of creamier and slightly less defined, but still nice, and I've been enjoying it. <laughs> the creamy goodness of that amp that is within. And I came up with, um, I was just playing a bunch of Jimmy Licks after teaching my friend Matt. And I thought I'd show you some because some of you guys might not be familiar with some of the, the interesting things that he did with his playing that I think are fascinating. And uh, that he stole from all of his blues friends and peers, which is of course what everyone else does now with Jimmy. So let me give you an example of something that he used to do a lot of. He would take a string, um, bend an E string on the way up, and as you're going up with no vibrato, you capture the B string underneath and then play the B on the way down. So you go. That kind of thing, which is really nice. So yeah, once again, you just basically bend the B. And so I'm bending with these two fingers and using the first finger as what I call a snow plow, so that if I do vibrato, it's muting the other strings around. So you get no string noise. Well, you can do that here, so. bunch of major notes that Jimmy would employ in things like um, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I like that, just bending a note and catching one as you go up to, to bring it down. Also, there's a really cool bend he does in um, Power to Love, Power to Soul, Power to Love, on the Band of Gypsies, Sun, Moon, Rainbow's album where he takes, um, if we're in uh, position one, blues, minor, pentatonic, and E. I'm going to take E, D, I'm in E flat. Take the G string, and he bends it and plays these notes. So you get. Just genius. I mean, that's kind of a, a, a Gilmore thing that happens in um, So I would encourage you all to be more creative with your bending and think about not just bending up, uh, but also when you bend up, do you apply vibrato or not? Um, because if you use vibrato all the time, and vibrato should be a conscious thing, it's like having a cake that's just made of cream. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So sometimes it's nice to kind of wait a bit and then apply it. And um, when you bend up, is that as far as you're going to bend to, are you going to continue? So, for example, if we were on that part there, this note could be bent a semitone, but also it could go to here, or there. That's a nice bend, not a lot of people do that, so you could be like... Experiment, my friends and monkey denizens. See you there. Dorje's drummer Ben Meinl does sometimes wish that his father wouldn't follow him everywhere. Ooh. Jelani, Lani. Ooh. 
So it's uh, Sunday morning. I'm waiting for a friend of mine called Matt to come for jam. I just wrote a cool riff. Check it out. <laughs> Recently, the tradition of uh, drunk Ben wrestling was reinstated by Dorje's Beer Massad. Ah, I love you too! Just an average day in the Dorje house. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> 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 Ty, your thoughts on the appropriate behaviour just admitted that. I'm glad he's tied him out for the evening. Oh. oh. <laughs> Matt, he's arrived with his Hello. beautiful Fender Teddy. It's the nicest Fender Teddy I've ever played in my life. And there is some jealousy in the room. <laughs> Flip it over so they can see the ridiculous... Yeah, ridiculousness. That's nice. And I just wrote another little bit of riff, so I'm quite happy about that. And um, it's a bit opathy, isn't it? Right. Me, me, turn me back to the old me. Nowadays, everybody's on the top. We got someone to say, but nothing comes out, but you move the lips just a bunch of your grace. Forgot about Dre. Nowadays, everybody wanna talk. They got something to say, but nothing comes out, but you move your lips just a bunch of gibberish. And what the fuck was happening? Forgot about Dre. Explain to me why you're holding half a Henry. Because I bought a vacuum cleaner that was cheap and shit, and now it doesn't. How cheap was it then? Thirty pounds new. I defy the world to find a vacuum cleaner anywhere that is less than thirty pounds new. That works. That's <laughs> that's the caveat. <laughs> so I've built a video studio in my house and I've been filming for about a month, and the ensuing chaos from that has meant my flat, my flat now schnooks like a blom's from Reddit. Do you want? To <laughs> Do you want to tell YouTube what you've been doing in your flat for the last? No. No? Oh, okay. Secret. It's a it? fucking secret. It's <laughs> a secret, Dan. A secret. It's what a you... secret for now. Dan, why are you doing on my Mac? I'm installing Windows 7 on it. So why can... are we installing Windows 7 on my Mac? So you can play Diablo. So I can play Diablo. It's the only fucking reason this Mac exists and is becoming a Windows machine. Surely that's now the best computer in the world because it's <sighs> Mac and it's also Windows. I don't know, but... It's the best of both worlds. I'm looking forward to saving up for three years and buying one of these 10k... What are they called? We found a computer online, a company called Origin PCs that make stupidly overclocked immense computers and we spent on it for $10,000 last night. Mm. <laughs> Which is almost as much as my Hoover cost me and I'm, you know, I'm yeah. bothered that it doesn't work as well as that. Yeah. And now uh, I'm borrowing half a, half a Henry. Yeah. So to speak. Half a Henry. You just fucked my flat. <laughs> 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 had an email from a guy asking me about picking patterns and things that I do and how did I do them. So I thought I'd show you one of those. I do a lot of five um, because I really enjoy the rolling feel of a five pattern. So here's a five pattern in an A minor pentatonic position one. So all I'm doing is I'm starting with it up and I'm going one, two, three, four, five. And then that's the first note played. So then the second note. But that one I start with a downstroke, so I'm going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then I shift to make it easier for the finger. the Bonamassery type thing, well Bonamass has kind of owned it recently and um, I really enjoy it and I think you should experiment with it. Mm. 
Matt Hornby, quick fire question round. How long is your beard? Too long. <laughs> Who are your favourite Texas based guitar store? RNA Music, Canton, Texas. What car do you drive? Um, I drive a Volkswagen Polo. It's small. Give me three sentences about your project, Hatton Manor. It's awesome. It's, it's acoustical delights for your ears that are kind of not stereotypically, I don't know, singer songwriter and not kind of. It's different. It's, it's different. It's new and exciting. You've got girls and guys and harmonies and it's nice. Star Wars versus Star Trek? Uh, neither. Vinyl versus CD? It's easy to say vinyl, but I'm of the CD generation. But, you know, I appreciate a good vinyl. What do you do for Chapman Guitars? A multitude of things. Um, I'm Highest Relations at Chapman Guitars, so I look after artists, but I also look after retailers, and I talk to them every day and make sure they're all happy and deal with their orders and such like. Top three bands? I don't know. Um, maybe maybe Queens of Stone Age. Maybe Annis Mitchell isn't getting out of my life right now. One of her albums, Hades Town. I can't get, get away from that because I think it's fantastic. And I can't get rid of Guns N' Roses either because they have such a kind of a, uh, an importance in my life and my growth as a human being. What are you looking forward to most with Chapman Guitars? Taking over the world. I oh, know, it's interesting. It's, it's, um, it started somewhere really small and now it's got a little bit bigger. So it's going to be interesting to see where it can go. And that's what's exciting about it. So I have a little project called Hatton Manor um, with my friend Hannah who you might know through Rabia, um, as she is his girlfriend. But um, yeah, so we write tunes together and it's we're recording an EP with um, at a studio we just built. And the Cove. The Cove. And it's going to sound great. It's going to be good. Bye. <laughs> Dave's command module. Secret hidden item that will never be explained.